Yeah, that was weird. Um, so, I mean, we're in Mexico City, man. But I feel for Rick. Now, granted, I know the UFC uh, paid him, but I'm not too sure how much. But, I mean, I know he was happy with, with what they agreed with, which was awesome for the UFC. But he was there for a month. Like, I would not want to be in another country for a month on, on vacation, let alone doing a fight camp. Anyway, we, you know, Matt and I get there on fight week. We do the weight cut. We do the warm-up. We're about to make the walk when, we told, when we're told that Raul Rosas is sick. And and they were and they didn't make a big announcement because I don't think they wanted the Mexican crowd to go into a frenzy because that would have probably happened. So they kind of like swept it under the rug. And then after some like negotiations, they, they were like, hey, we can rebook this fight next week at 145, which does not play to our favor. But Ricky was like down to play ball and he agreed to everything. And then like after we got our plane tickets the next week to go back to Vegas, uh, they said Rosas couldn't fight again. And then I even like asked questions and, you know, usually if a fighter is sick, they tell the doctor they're down to fight and the doctor tells them no. From what I understood, the doctor said Rosas was good to fight, but he told them no. So I don't know. I don't know exactly like what ailments he had, but I've known plenty of guys who are sick and they just like suck it up on fight night and make it happen. But I mean, there's nothing we can do. Ricky was cool about the whole situation because it was 100% like out of his hands. You know, he made weight. He was there to fight in Mexico. He was down to make weight at 45 and down to fight in Vegas. It just didn't happen. So the UFC told him, thank you. And uh, they'll rebook him later. Is that, have you ever seen that before where a fighter, like, you know, at least you hear from the doctor and say the doctor didn't clear me, but to actually have a fighter say they couldn't compete. Have you ever experienced that in your own career or with other teammates? No, I mean, I, I've never had to deal with it. You know, I, we've had guys like no show us. Like, so my boy, Jake, he's nine and four as a pro, but for his pro debut in Louisiana, he showed up to weigh his opponent was there, but then on fight day, the dude just goes to the promoter. And, uh, you know, that that happens every once in a while. There was some there was an amateur uh, undercard at some Fury fights recently where this dude's opponent just straight up didn't show up to fight night. But that's a pretty different scenario. Plus, this is the UFC. This is like the biggest stage in the world. It was surprising to deal with, but, you know, not the, not the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you.